Hello, artists everywhere, and welcome to the Artist Bootcamp for Beginners. I am Trey, your art workout partner, and today we're doing a myriad of stuff, right? This is our set, a workout set. So today is Thursday, February 8th, and today we are doing shapes heads and hands, mannequin with anatomy, and two-point perspective. So let's get to it. So first up, as always, our warm-up stretches, simple shapes. I'm using Photoshop. If you have a pen and paper or whatever program you use, feel free, but let's go. So hit the B, oh, first, check that we got it. Let's go to the layer, make a new layer. Hit B, do some general brushes, soft round pressure size. Use the brackets to move the reticle, get bigger or smaller. Let's go. All right. Warm up. Gotta get loose, gotta get loose. Not looking for perfection, but just getting it going. This is our everyday thing, our everyday thing. If you wanna get bigger, you wanna get better, you wanna get badder. This is what we got to do. I didn't like it in college. And today I'm just, eh. <laughs> but we got to go through it. This will help us in the long run or so. We think. No, there is no think. We're just doing the thing. And that is the power of a routine. I know what I'm doing. Today, shapes is done. Let's go to 3D shapes, new layer, and do some boxes. Right, because we all have bigger and better aspirations. There's more to drawing than boxes. Although boxes are the building blocks. And that's why we're here. Learning the building blocks so we can translate them better to our art. Here we go. This has become the part where it's kind of tranquil. I've done this now enough times that it's just a part of the routine. And that's good. And there are different artist types. There are those that, you know, make clean one line strokes and all that. Or they start with like an eye and then they can fill out the whole thing. And then there are some people like myself, who, you know, work lines over trying to find, you know, find something that works for us. So whatever artists you're like, all, all are welcome, right? It's all art. 
find a system that works for you. All right. I always mess with them. Uh, all right, 3D shapes, done. You're loose, you're limber, you're good, good. Because we're moving on to head and hands. Okay, we'll start with the heads first. Ah, there we are. Three quarters off to the left. So let's get a, a nice quick sketch of this new layer. And so we got our cranium. Let's fade this back, hit V for the move tool, and then four for 40%. Somebody needs to be turned off. Now go back to the layer, B for the brush tool. So yes, as I was saying, we have this cranium, right? That holds our, our brain, our eye sockets. But here's a side plane. You can kind of see the highlight, highlight. So we'll follow that as the side plane. And it comes back and then forward around the eye. And it goes down this way. We have the mandible that is attached to our bulbous skull. And it's attached by all these muscles to help us chew. Here we have. Our cheekbones. Our brow ridge would be here. And our eyes are within the eye socket. So our eye socket, where of course our eyes go. The nose, which is cartilage. You know, our, the tip of the nose is just cartilage in whatever shape you happen to have. You can have a, a dainty nose, a large nose, and whatnot. We have the teeth. And usually our ear is between the nose line and the eye, eye line. So somewhere about here. And it's usually behind your mandible. But there's a lot of variations in humans. Everybody's different. So let's now move on to an actual head. Let's do what, the, what we were doing with the skull. Three quarters off to the left. Once more. Layer, I dropped it back on opacity and let's go. My cranium. And I'm looking off my chin. Nose line. Here's my ear. And it's a 3D shape, right? So it's bending backwards in space or going around. My side plane. My eyebrow ridge. My eye line. My ear. On the right side. And my mouth between the nose and the chin, nose and chin. The bottom, there's a, a slight shadow. 
But yeah, we're looking at the, the skull, right? We can see all that here. I got the cartilage for my nose. My eyes are in my eye socket. My mandible and all the muscles that are holding that to my actual skull. And our ears are just cartilage. So there we are. Head and skull. Now for some hands. Let's see what we got. Did it, did it. Hmm, don't want to do a fist. I think I want to do this one. All right. New layer, drop this down, hit the V, and let's say 30%. Get back to that layer, and let's do simple shapes for the basics. Hitting B for the brush tool. Okay. So, we have a bit of a box, a flat box. And then all the fingers coming off of that box. And the foreshortening for these fingers so there's overlap. And the pinky is off by himself. And of course, the thumb. Got the connectors for the thumb. And that is the wrist hooking up to the rest of my forearm. going into my arm. And the digits are straight, so just giving a little indication of where they bend. We can erase down the box. because we don't need the construction lines, but they're a good place to start. And that is the hand. Now, what's next? Anatomy of the mannequin. This time we're using the straight on mannequin. And we've got some images of some basic anatomy. And we're gonna incorporate some of this into this. So we're gonna fade this guy back. 60. All right, new layer. So of course, like we learned with the head, heads are used to the place I always start. That's down. And we remember the basic proportions because this guy has no face. We've got the eye line. Make a line to indicate that he's looking straight at us. We could have done, you know, have him look off. This eye plane. But he's not doing that. Right. So we got the eyebrow, hairline, nose line, and mouth between the nose and the chin. And there's usually a shallow side plane, shallow side plane. All right, so. 
I think I have a skeleton on here. So here we have a skeleton with the basic skull, mandible, spine, clavicle, rib cage, the pelvis. Right. So many bones. But this is the basic scaffolding. And we're just to meat and fat wrapped around <laughs> this basic scaffolding. Let's get back to some basic muscles. So from this we can see that there's the deltoid, which is the shoulder. Well first, you know what, we'll do the basic shapes. So we have the We'll do this as an, as an egg, an egg shape for the rib cage. Circles for the the joints. Joint, joint. Another box. Let's make some of this this barrel. There we go. basic box for the pelvis joint kneecaps ankle ankle we got cylinders for the arms right. we're just trying to build that repetition that we know basically where stuff is Basically, because we're all composed of the same, more or less, the same anatomy, but we got to get it down. Okay. Hands, again with the modified box. And the finger is coming off of that. Swoop, swoop, swoop. All right. So let's make a new layer. I'll bring some of the muscles back. Okay. So we'll start off with some body. Again, all right, let's put his head back on. Center line, eyebrows, nose, mouth, hairline. We got the pectoralis, pectoralis. Right. We have the deltoids. All right, deltoids for the shoulders. We got the clavicle. Hinges here, here. Helping with the movement of the arm, moving them up and down. You can, you can feel it when you move your arm up and down. Let's put his rib cage back. And if we look at the skeleton, right, it's like an egg shape. So let's draw that that open bit, pelvis, put that box back in, but let's say for the tricep, 
is this part at the back of the arm, while the bicep is this forward part. Tricep, bicep. We got the humerus bone underneath this. The radius and ulna are the two bones. Right. If we're looking at this, the humerus from underneath this deltoid and the bicep tricep. And then there's two bones, the radius and ulna at the elbows. That's underneath. So we got the rectus abdominis. Let's erase some of this. The rectus abdominis. All right. Now you can see him. And then the lower, right, is underneath all of this. And it goes here. Now let's take a look at some of the leg. Let's see. We got the gracilis, which is an inside leg muscle, about here. from the inner pelvis leg. Sartorius, which is this muscle, right, would be here. So that would be here. Sartorius. There's so many muscles. The patella, of course, the kneecap. Mm -mm. The rectus femoris, which is attaches to the femur, and the patella. The patella always to me looks like a an ice cream cone, and then there's these tendons. So it looks like a, a cone, ice cream, and then there's you know the rectus. What was it? Femoris. which is just this bit on top. You can make a little indentation. So it looks like two scoops to me. And that is how I've always remembered it. You gotta figure out ways to try to remember all of this. Well, you don't have to remember all of it. You know, we're no doctors. We just like drawing. Satoris. The fastest lateralis is on the outside. So it would be here. Fastest lateralist. I'm guessing it helps with lateral movement. Hence lateralis. Iliotibial tract is up right on the side. It's better seen in the side view of the leg. But yeah, there's so many muscles. And I encourage you that whatever reference photos that you can find online or from books on anatomy, just you know, sit down one day and map out the muscles to a mannequin. There's always something to learn. The patella, the pat uh, patellar ligament connects down to the tibia, which is the, the wider fatter of the, the two bones in the lower leg, right? Because it spans this and it comes down here. And then the fibula attaches and for stability is the second bone. 
And there's also a lot of muscles in the lower leg also. Peroneus longus. It's on the side here. What is this? The tibius anterior. The front. Of the tibias. Uh, what else? Solus or soleus, gastronemius. All these Latin words and whatnot. <laughs> and I think, oh yes. Okay, so one point perspective. Let's get the brush tool. So here's the horizon line. All right, if I can make a straight line. No, not straight at all. Okay. So this is her horizon. Show me that horizon. Okay, one point perspective is, here's the vanishing point. And everything goes towards that. I cannot draw straight lines today. Okay. All right, and everything leads to this one point. And that's one point perspective. Right? And everything like buildings would lead to this. Two points perspective, you have the same horizon line. If I can make a straight line. So here's the horizon line. And then you have two vanishing points. So point here, point here. And we'll make a vertical line. Oops. We'll make a vertical line here. We'll make a vertical line. And let's go this way. Here. And we'll make a vertical line somewhere up here. All right. And so leads to this point. It leads to this other vanishing point. We have another corner leading to that same. Vanishing point. All right. And say if you had another vertical line, another, let's say, vertical line here these points would also lead to a vanishing point. Vanishing point here. And so see, now we have this rectangle cube thingy. I should take that point. And we have our cube or rectangle thingy. And this is a bird's eye view, right? So we're looking down on the top of it. Top, side, side, another side, another side. We take this point, touch it to the vanishing points. Touch it, vanishing point, vanishing point. All right, and so we'll make a, another vertical line. And this time we'll make this one longer. Vertical line. So this touch touch from there to here All right and so we touch this one All right and so now we're looking at the sides of this so it's at our eye level 
And let's do this one. Touch, 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 touch. And this corner to the vanishing point. To the other vanishing point. Right? And we have so touch that corner to the vanishing point. Vanishing point. Vanishing point. Mm -hmm. This line to the vanishing point. This to this vanishing point. And so this is the worm's eye view, right? Because we're looking, it's above our line of sight, right? Because we're looking on the horizon, and this is above. So this is the worm's eye view. This is at our eye level, so we can't see the top or bottom. And this is the bird's eye view, because we're looking down, and we see the top and the side, two sides. And that is two-point perspective, because we have the horizon line, and this is a vanishing point, and another vanishing point. Nicely done, guys. So that was the workout plan, our set for today, Thursday, the 8th. And tomorrow is Friday the 9th, where we continue with the same set, shapes, heads and hands, Mannequin Anatomy, and this time, three-point perspective, which I will probably describe jankily, but, you know, just the basics. And then moving into Saturday, we move back into freestyle mode. Prompt for this weekend is superhero, but you can draw whatever you wish. So, another day done. And I will see you tomorrow. Take care. <laughs> Later.